kind of rig this thing, just standard weedless rig, you know, just run it up there, pull it down. I use that San Diego jam knot. It's got three little tag ends on it. I like that thing because when I pull my ace up over that knot, those little tags kind of act like a keeper and keeps that thing up on there pretty good. Just go ahead and stick my trow car in it about like that. Tuck the point of that hook in. Throw it out there right in the bass's mouth. Watch this. Oh, he's got it. Look at that was like on cue. Oh, dude, that was a good one too. Look at the freak, look at the boil. <laughs> Darn it. Get a little cocky from my britches there. That's all right, I like it, son. I'm gonna give him another look at it, boys. Watch this. See how dumb he is. Oh, look, it's back. It's back. A little minner. A little minner out there. I got a little piece of him. I don't think he's gonna come back. <laughs> you know, one thing a lot of people, when they're fishing that ace, you know, it's a, when, when you're fishing it weightless, a lot of people lift that thing up and they kind of reel or slack up just like it's got a weight on it and they keep that line, you know, kind of tight. That's taking all the, taking everything out of the ace when you're keeping the line tight like this. I move it a little bit and then let the line fall slack. See how it's just laying just slack down on the water? You know, line's coming out of the end of my rod and just going down slack. That's, now you're not pulling on that bait at all and it can fall perfectly down. If you keep a little bit of tension in that line when you don't have any weight on there, it just pulls that bait forward and it just kind of drifts in like that. If every time you move it, you just drop it down, let, let it be completely slack on there, you'll get a lot more bites on a weightless bait. I promise. <laughs>